So what are your initial thoughts, Johnny? So, so this has a lip. If you look in here inside the gutter, yeah. this is one piece and it sits on top of here. Yeah, if you look real closely, you can see uh, it's laying in there. So what we can do is, is cut around here right now. And then we'll have to either drill those out or, or uh, grind them out just to get that little strip off. And then we can fit the new one on, on top of that here and then up here. this lip here the whole big piece
да. Already. Oh, it's only it's three o'clock. Oh, look at that shit. What? It's not bad. Shit, all rested on in here and everything. Where? All this in here. Shit gets worse and worse. We should get some bondo and selling like that. That's what you could? You want to? Yeah, Bobby. What y'all do? Find more rust. Find more rust. Yeah. So we opted to, or y'all opted to just put the whole quarter panel yeah. instead of from the trim down. Yeah. Way easier. You think? Yep. So what'd you what y'all do? Y'all cut it rough cut first. Rough get a big cut, chunk out. Rough cut and then just trim closer and closer. And find more rust everywhere. It's okay. Took this shit off. Find all this rust. Right now it's just hanging on there. It's just hanging on, but it's kind of in a bind a little bit. Yeah, it's hanging on. Off. Off. It's just hanging on. We still got a lot of trimming to do. You know, match this up. So what, it welds on the side here? And the inside has like a little lip for this piece going in and a lip going in right here. Okay. That's so hot. We need to put the, the trunk on 
to line this up. Yeah, probably gonna have to cut in, space it out. Space it out somehow. Probably. Oh no, no, don't do that. So trunk next. So we gotta figure out how to. What's wrong with the hinge, huh? It's just it's not hooked up. Oh, it's not hooked up. Okay. 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 Man, I th I think you still got a good deal for for three hundred dollars, man. You don't record a a box for this either. I did a little bit. I did a. I just ain't posted. But man, the quarter looks straight. Like it's not gonna take a lot of. It's not gonna take hardly any body work, man, to get that ready. Have you noticed? And this is just mocked up. Look how, look how straight that line is. Yeah. It's not like it's all over the place, like up and down. Huh. Yeah, you notice know it? Yeah, the corner of the door. The, the middle. Okay. Yeah. So we'll continue this next time. Mike. We gotta figure out what you're gonna do about this thing. Because it's already have already have this. Yeah, I know you can't swap the roof out. Fix it. Yeah. Yeah, thing. You get some new shoes first. <laughs> Bring y'all back next weekend, man. What have you done, Bobby? Reveal all, all the secrets. <laughs> I'm going backwards. Doing it backwards? What? What'd you say, JBL? Piece of cake. Oh, you a piece of cake? Yeah, man. So what are you doing? Easy money. Well, I just cut off this quarter here. I'm going to... Let's turn the panel. What's that? So we just cut off this quarter here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can salvage this uh, this inner well. It looks like there's a, a, a rock spot right here. The rest of it looks pretty good, but we won't know until we chip all this out. Uh huh. And uh, we do have a replacement if needed. So when you replace this quarter, you're gonna get the big chunk out and then go in and trim, make it more manageable? Yeah, so this is the chunk right here. We got it Corn. close as possible to everything that needs to be cut out, like right here, to the lip. Uh huh. So this is going to be uh, chipped out. We're going to cut it out. Cut out that. All this right here. Piece of this needs to come out. Piece of this. This needs to come out. And uh, I'm not going to mess with this until we see how bad it is. So if we have to replace the wheel, then I'll just leave that there. GM put this here? Yeah. Justin. Justin? Oh. JS. Yeah, yeah. No, J A. J? J A. J A did that. All right. So this wheel, this this other inner is ready to go or outer, I should say? Ready? Yeah. Ready for Bobby to weld it? Bobby wore all his PPE today. Oh, I got a new shirt. You got a new shirt. For a special day. For a special day. <laughs> I got a Sunday shirt on. All right. Looks good, man. Moving right along. Bring y'all back. 
All right, all right. Today's Saturday, September 30th, 2023. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. And this looks like an overwhelming amount of work. Car ain't got no quarter panels. What would they do that's on the floor? <laughs> ah, what we're going to do today is work on Bobby's car. Bobby said, Bobby told me yesterday that he was a little disappointed because I hadn't helped him work on his car in weeks. So I told Bobby today we're going to work on his car. I'm not going to touch the 60. All I'm going to do is push it outside and we're going to work on Bobby's car. We got a four man crew today. Uh, the first order of business is going to be to put the trunk on. Put the trunk on, line it up to this. And from that, we can hang the quarter. The doors need adjustment before the quarter. We're going to take the glass out today. We're going to gut the dash, possibly. Uh, you get all this crap out of here, get that organized. He took all that off last weekend. You need to push everything out of here, get some room, take inventory. That's the plan. So the first order of business is going to be to clean up this mess and get the trunk on. Got something funky going on with that trunk hinge. There's no torsion bars on it. But I believe he has some some uh, some replacement trunk hinges, so that's good. So gonna put in a full eight hours of work today. And I'm thinking we should get the trunk on, the doors adjusted, the glass out, the trim all cleaned up, and then possibly get at least one quarter tacked in. He replaced the wheelhouse last time. Complete wheelhouse on this side partial patch job on this side it wasn't that bad so just a square right there did that last time this is all in some kind of zinc spray paint that's the plan for today that's the plan for today so bring you guys back got to move some stuff around once we get working down here what do you say <laughs> there's nothing in the way of the music anymore if you want to put a box you know a speaker box woofers which uh, most people do right here the torsion bars are not in the way, so the torsion bars would come up to about right here. So these are CVF hinges. Yeah, man, I'm really impressed so far, man. And they they got way more adjustment. Yeah, for left and right, all the way. Yeah, and then the the shocks that it has, you can't see them no more because they're they're behind here. But the shocks adjust down also. Uh, this this adjusts. So if the corners are too high, there's a hole right here. For the adjustment to bring the trunk down if you need to so it has a lot of adjustment man it has left to right and then the corners it has up and down up and down yep and forward and backward yes very impressive how much those cost bobby mm, like 400 bucks it says it like nothing yeah man it's rich I mean, when you're rich bobby you big bucks you buy stuff like that you know what else they make them for Mm -hmm. 5960? I know it's another another uh, brand uh, 80. Oh, 80 Motorsport? Motorsport yeah. This is kind of the same thing. Are you going to paint these or leave them black? I'll leave them black. Okay. So with that, the trunk can go on. Yeah, yeah they're installed now. And note, so you're going to cut off them torsion brackets? Yeah, I would. There's no need for them, huh? Um, the only use I could possibly see for them is a uh, bulkhead for the hydraulic or holding a false wall yeah yeah actually that that's that's pretty good yeah you can hold it right there huh. so we got the door aligned all we wanted to align it was on the rocker it took a little bit of adjustment but not much and then we got the windshield out. Just got the windshield out in one piece right now. Got the trim off. You can see these trim uh, windshield molding clips. The ends have screws in them from the factory to hold the corners of the molding down. And what we're going to do now is just notch them a little bit next to them so we know where they go back. But you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the top. And that was it. None on the bottom or the sides. 
on the sides. So next up is we're going to adjust this door. Then by then they'll be on that side. Then we'll take the back glass out. Yeah. Moving right along, dash is pretty good. These vent, these vents are, are nice, Bobby. They're usually bent, and once they're bent, you can't get them back. Well, that's too bad because we're going to shave that off. <laughs> we or you? Me. Okay. They're not bent. They're not bent. Wow. They're almost always bent, and they never go back in shape. No, you can't put them back. Man, those things are straight. I would leave them, man. Wow. I'll still shave. <laughs> Oh, we're taking this out too. We're taking the cluster out too today. All right. Hey, over here, the dash display. <laughs> yeah. Does your truck have it? No. no. Camaro did. Yeah. Imagine. That look cool, man. Don't give this guy any ideas. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll bring you guys back. What you got going on, Bobby? Don't buy an old Impala. <laughs> I ain't making it a making it a diamond again. So we smeared some 415, or he smeared some 415 on the inside of the quarter. Brand new wheel wheelhouse. And what are you doing? You're just rebuilding this little edge here? Yeah. That's all that's left before it goes on? Yeah. Already test fixed. Hinges are hinges are good. Close the trunk. Show the gap here. Well, that's what we're working with. This one is a little closer, but you're gonna put a new corner on it. Actually, that's that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Except for that. Okay. Trunk is trunk is real good, man. You saw how these uh, these hinges move. How you adjust it? It has like a little cam. So a you, cam, yeah. So you move it that way. And it pushes it that way. Yeah, and turn it that way. That's pretty spiffy. I like them. I like them. Well, we got the dash gutted. Steering columns out. Just need to get that off, but I don't need to lay in there to do that. Move, move that uh, mat in a little closer to it. That way it catches the grips. So we're throwing some 415 on this side. I never use that stuff. Black paint, huh? Got a nice gap here so the quarter can go over it. Unfortunately, we don't have the other quarter here today. We're gonna fit the fence, we're gonna fit the skirt and drill the hole on for the antenna. Oh, got the template? Yep. So that's the plan for today? Yeah. Get this quarter? Oh, hmm? yeah, it's only dirty. Hmm? Yes, it's only 11. 11.15. Get this quarter on, fit, fit the skirt, drill the antenna hole. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh. Bring you guys back. this last bubble. We can go ahead and weld this in. It's already flush? Yeah, this is flush. You, you don't have shoulder shot tests? I, I might have a few. Yeah, I just need maybe maybe a couple of them. Because uh, I can't put in these because then they're going to put an Audi out here. It's okay, Bobby will learn how to fix that. Where are you at? Uh, 
That'll be one of them. It should be labeled if they're there. So what you think about the quality of the quarter panel, man? I like it. I think it's good. I mean, anything, anything you do, you know, this bit is gonna need some tweaking. Did you take all that off and go bare metal and epoxy it? This? Yeah. No, it's already in epoxy. No, I think that's e coat. E coat? It's really thick e coat. I would take it all off now. So what is E coat? E doesn't stand for <laughs> no. everything coat. <laughs> so this right here is gonna have to come. We're gonna weld in all the way around. So we're gonna in the jam. Yeah, we're gonna do the jam. I mean, really everything. But we're gonna leave this for last because we're gonna have to bend it down just a hair to get it to flush to with the, the to with the, the flange. Yes, and then flush with this. With the rest of it, you were talking about adding something here. Mm -hmm. Now, why? Because we have to cut that off. So th there was a piece going over, but in, and then this this piece was higher than this one. So, when able to get these flush, flush, you had to cut that piece off. And now you have a low spot, so yeah. you're gonna add in there. Right. So the one that was on here, it would it would go down, so it was bulging out. You know what I mean? It was a step. It wasn't just flat like this. It would go down, so it was pushing this out. So maybe it was meant to go inside? Inside of? The rocker? Inside of here? No, I don't know. Maybe the original maybe. rocker? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, if this piece was all the same, you know, it can go over that. But sometimes you see, that, you see that, that line on some cars. Yeah, they're full of lead on the original ones. Uh, you're not supposed to see it, but you do notice it if, you, if you're around these cars enough, you can see it. Okay, well. Did you find him? Bobby fall asleep or what? Bobby fall asleep standing up. Ate too much. Ate too much? What'd you eat, Bobo? Tell, tell him what you ate. Hamburger. Hamburger? <laughs> Hamburger? What's your saying, Bobo, when I'm. Did you find the self taps? Two of them. Oh, it's the same. Uh... Where'd you put it? I like the quarter, man. It's gonna hardly require no no body work, man. Why am I gonna like that? Oh, well, we can put a dent in it. I can do that. Easy. Uh, push it, bubble. Kind of barbaric in the way we do things. So we're gonna see how this uh, repop skirt fits on a repop quarter panel. Okay. Hey, don't put a wave in it. Close. Needs to be hammered out. Need some more clamps. Bring some more clamps. Who wrote the gang graffiti on the roof? Bobby's a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> Ripping his set. Yeah. Bobby's from the what? Bobby's from the Rainbow Ranch. <laughs> I hope not. Nice boots. All right. So bring you guys back once we get it welded.
Go ahead. Take one. Man. Man. So four thirty. Today is uh. I already did that this morning. <laughs> September. <laughs> four thirty. <laughs> Been at it for uh, uh. Since eight. Yeah, eight. Sorry, brand new. Sorry, right, right away. So buy it out. Yeah. Work panel on. So it's on, on. It's on, on. Yeah, it ain't coming off. Got the hinges put on, the trunk put on. Remove front and back glass. Front and back glass? That, uh, uh remove the steering columns out. We align the door. Align both doors. Got a pretty nice little gap right here. Going across, it's squared up in the front pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. It's a little bit wide up top. We might address that at some point. Maybe add a little bit on that edge, but other than that, it's uh, pretty flush. And it just spot welded, which I spray painted, but spot welded the, the outer to the door jam the right way. Right, Bobby? Yeah. And then... It's completely welded in. Yeah. Is this thing locked? Uh, so we didn't touch the factory trunk gutter. And it's spot welded to that. Grind down a little bit. Uh, pay no mind to this. This, this is going to be replaced. But... Um, Trunk hinges, so took the torsion bars out. These are CVF trunk hinges for 60 through 62, is what they say, I don't know. But they're really awesome, man. They, they, they're they fully adjustable, and they can they can really dial in for you know all these panel replacements and stuff. More adjustment than the factory, for sure. Uh, <laughs> so the quarter's on, the skirt's mocked up, we cut an antenna hole, which we had a big debate about that. Uh, what was the debate? We're at. <laughs> we sat here and talked about it for like 30 minutes. But, I mean, there's no gasket right now, so the thing is crooked. But that's a factory uh, location. We have a template for that. So, I thought it could go forward a little bit, but I think it looks great as is. And then, so that's a, that's a, it's obviously a, a, a reproduction uh, quarter panel and a reproduction skirt that fit surprisingly really well. It's great. Really well. There's no gas. There's, I mean. Once you get the weather strip in there, that's it. Yeah. Are you gonna run stuff hard over? It depends if I put it the locker. Okay. But I do have them though. Can you send them to me? Yeah. So basically the quarter panel is welded in the front, along the bottom, the wheel lip, along the bottom, yeah. Yeah. the back, and the trunk gutter. Yeah. Spot welded. <laughs> and you're going to get this new piece here? <clears throat> what about tail panel? No? Just patch that? Yeah. The middle one? Yeah. And patch that. So so yeah, we got a lot done, man. Align both doors, front and back glass out, quarter panel, trunk, trunk hinges. Four man refugee. Oh, and the 415? Oh, 415 did, yeah. Which we did a little bit of recording earlier. I've, I've personally never used it, but I mean, I, I think it's, you know, it's a good product for this, for what we're doing here. We did put some on the, you put some on the trailer? Put some on the rusted car hauler I have. I want to put the stuff to the test. <clears throat> we just brush it directly over rust like they advertise. We'll see what happens in a few weeks. Anything you want to add, Bobby? Are you excited? You have half a car now. This half looks good. Yeah, great. I want to bring the fenders you can put them on. Bring them on? You have a core support? Yeah. Do you have the bushing? Yeah. The core support? No. Well, you need them to line everything up. 
bring the bushings and the course report and the fenders, and we can line them up, mark everything, and uh, save the amount of spacers for bushings that we use. Shins. 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 Spacers. Washers. <laughs> so hey, man, this little uh, this little antenna ball, man. That's that's a vintage Jack in the Box Houston Astro. Hey, those things are expensive. And they they don't. I mean, when's the last time they made them, man? I remember them back in the day. Yeah. What year is that from? Oh, oh four, oh five. That's to be like oh four, oh five. Yeah. They're on eBay once in a while, but it's, it's okay. almost never two. It's got the old Astros logo. Yeah. Vintage. And you got two? Yeah, I got two. Nice. With the bubble gum. <laughs> With the bubble gum. <laughs> I like that. That's vintage, man. Yeah. So what's next, man? I think so. This is gonna be a cutoff for the video, man. But the other quarter. Another quarter. Quarter. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's halfway ready to go. It's halfway ready to go. We already spent, you know, two weekends here prepping, removing the other one. So, so it was like a weekend to cut the old one, a weekend to trim <coughs> this one, and then a weekend to to put it on. Yeah. So everything's already cut out over there. We removed everything. So we, we would just have to fit the new quarter, you know, and trim as we go, and we can put that sucker on. But we are going to put a new tail light pocket on the driver's side. That tail light pocket is gone. So this one, this one here had a little bit of rust here on the bottom, but that's repairable. This is part of the tail panel, also repairable. But this one here is all the way gone, all the way through. So this is going to get replaced. But uh, we're going to fit the new quarter first. Since we have this in the factory location where it goes, fit it on here and then and then we'll replace that. As a guideline. Yeah, that trunk gutter is, is a good guideline too, man. Yeah. Because it don't have to be sticking out a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man. So shit, after the quarter, then it's just basically little patches here and there. Yeah. A couple weekends of little patches here and there. I think what Bubble suggested is good. We, we <coughs> fit the front end. Get everything lined up real good, get all the gaps where they need to be. And then we can get these doors down to bare metal and epoxy. I would buy black epoxy. We can do the same to the fenders. That way the car can look uniform, one color. You really won't sleep that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once this thing's one color, man. Oh man. Then the roof rails. Then we'll start messing with the roof rails. It ain't nothing to bare metal that trunk too to get it in the box. Yeah. I wouldn't. I probably I wouldn't bare metal underneath, man. I don't I don't think it needs it, man. I'd be, you can just scuff it up real good and go on top of what's there. Hey man, this one has a dent under also. On the underside. Where? Over here. On the Oh this. Yeah. <laughs> how do you and get this? How do you get down How did there? that happen, man? You slam the door slam the trunk down. On somebody. <laughs> trying to get out yes yeah, <laughs> i'm telling you man like even even my car man the i bought a radio delete plate it's got a dent in it <laughs> how does that happen man every panel on the, my entire car had had at least one dent and these doors look good man. yeah doors are good man and the fenders are the same yeah no patch needed no nice damn it man Hell. with new quarter two you shouldn't have any problems coming up in the future man yeah. and a good trunk yeah, man. Good day, man. So I guess nothing next weekend. We need to replace the trunk pan too, right? Yeah. I've been telling you, you need to order that center trunk pan. Just the center. Yeah, just the center. I got a 61. Same. A 60? No. Oh, a 60. That's right. You're gonna, we're going to relocate the gas tank. In. We're going to put the gas tank on the roof. <laughs> The gravity fit. Gravity fit gas tank. Yeah. All right. Ain't looking to it. Why are you in a rush? I'm not in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> My car is almost done. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> it's just metal. You're right. It is, man. It is. It is. Totally. If it don't work, then put it back. You already have the pan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, guess we bring you guys back once we uh, start on this next work panel, man. I'll stay tuned.